The lessons learned when growing your own food are invaluable. The only problem is, there often isn't enough time or space to grow a garden at a school. If only there were a way to grow a garden without using too much space and without investing too much time on upkeep. In my spare time between classes, I started piecing together this vertical hydroponics garden to save time and space. I will admit this is not my first rodeo with hydroponic gardening, and I have this Zipgrow farm wall system at home. I found these Zipgrow towers in a junk pile at a garden center and asked the owner about them, and he gave them to me for free. The only problem was that these towers were bent all out of shape and they were too tall for the space that I had. So two six foot towers became four three foot towers. Then the base and the top had to be cut to size to fit the tabletop that I had planned for it. I wanted to be sure that everything lined up and was shaped perfectly, which takes a little planning and a lot of measuring. After I had the plan, it was off to the laser cutter to make exact cuts to fit inside the bent towers. And since I was there, I made some templates for the cuts for the base and the top. I put the inserts in and clamped everything down tight and slowly heated the PVC with a heat gun in a well-ventilated area. The main goal was to bend the spine of the square PVC back enough to open the zipper side so that the plants had room to grow. You can find these square PVC tubes in the fencing department at a home improvement store. It honestly doesn't need to be square. It was just the scraps that I found and already had to make use of. The same concept can work with a normal pipe though. You need to be sure that the base and the top are bigger than the towers so that you can cut a hole to fit the towers in. Here I'm adding some give to the front slit to make it easier for plants to slide in. The bright Agrotech version is mounted to the wall, but we can't do that at the school. So I used square aluminum tubing to hold the top and the bottom base at the right height. I needed the towers to be removable so that they could sit at a couple of inches in the bottom and a couple of inches at the top. To do that, I had to design a riser to hold the square aluminum pipe that I had left over. The water still needs to be able to flow through the base, but it still needs to be able to support as much weight as possible. The honeycomb cut seemed like the best option to me. I had to make sure that everything fit. So I put it in the pump and checked the towers. And then I noticed that I couldn't see if the irrigation was working. So I added some peep holes to the top of the base. And then I added some other holes for zip ties to hold the irrigation for later. With everything starting to shape up nicely, I needed to start on a lighting system. I found some cheap LED grow lights, but they needed to hang in front of the plants vertically, and they needed the ability to adjust on how close they are to the plants. So I designed this armature with these little H bracket things to make it simple to adjust this armature for the lights. I mounted the brackets on the top. Then I hung the lights to test them out. Next was the irrigation tubing. It needs to be heated to pull straight and then threaded through the top and zip tied in place. Then I added these little irrigation drippers to have a consistent flow. I already sealed the end caps of the base with some waterproof sealant so that I could fill up the base and test the flow. The hydroponic solution has to be just the right pH and we'll have to measure the total dissolved solids in the water as well. Okay, I cheated a little on the next step while I'm growing the seedlings. I installed what I had been growing for months in the towers I had at home into these towers that I had at the school. But that was kind of what I was going for anyway. Instead of letting this crop die over the summer, I can bring the crop home and put them into my own system and then bring them back to the school when we're ready to have them. Now we have a functional edible garden rich with nutrients and future lessons. We've only taken up about six square feet and it's portable, which makes maintaining it a little easier. 
I'm looking forward to the future lessons with a microcontroller project that centers around measuring, calculating, and triggering warning alarms and such. I'm also really looking forward to planting this new crop.